Hi everybody, this is Nathan. Um, proud Fertility is a surrogacy and egg donation consultancy in Canada. We are here with a proud surrogate. And what are you guys? Are you guys just hanging out or proud? Proud. Intended parents with their new little one. Show off the baby. Try to stand up. It's a girl, just in case you're wondering. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have some questions. We are going to um, ask some questions about your final moments leading up to the birth. So what kind of a birth did you guys have? Well, home birth? Home yeah, birth? we had a planned home birth. I had had two home births before with my own kids, so it was something that I wanted to do and talked about it with them. And they said, yeah, like, this sounds good. They know a midwife in Paris, right? Yeah. 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 So this journey has, mm -hmm. so you were just like, let's just do this. Let's have a home birth. You, were you nervous at all? A little bit at all? Um, the truth comes out. <laughs> to be honest, just at the beginning, it was the first time for us to talk about home births. Mm -hmm. So it's not very common in France. And, uh, but as she has a home child with home birth, it mm -hmm. was very okay for us. Mm -hmm. So home birth means like, are you just in a, like, is it literally in your home or your home? Like, because for the viewers... It's, it's probably in the circuit's home. Can you let us know? Yeah, it was at my house and we had two midwives there with us. And yeah, it's pretty common in Canada. Actually, a lot of births, a lot of low risk pregnancies are taken care of by midwives in Canada and home birth is an option for that. Okay, so I'm, I actually do know, but I will ask, were you just sitting on a couch, a, a nice comfy chair? Tell us a little <laughs> bit about that. Um, I had a water birth because it's like a good way to manage pain naturally. So, so we had a, a little basin we or? had a birth pool. It's kind of like a really high kitty pool filled up with really nice warm water for me. No, and yeah, me. that's where I did most of my labor. Okay, so walk me through this. There is this pool. <laughs> um, the proud surrogate calls the parents. Hey, I'm in labor. Or who called whom first? Uh, yeah, she called us. She I said, called them. The labor make my start so maybe you want to come so we arrived and uh, yeah we go we stay outside with the kids we go to the playground and then <laughs> the midwife come and say she's coming okay yeah. so you weren't just like sitting there watching her moan no. and make some no. birth primal uh, I thought I thought originally that they could be in the room for the labor but it ended up being like a really intense labor so I pretty much just shoved everyone outside except for my husband and the midwives. <laughs> okay, so then you just went out, like, where did you go outside to get this drink? Just You were just going outside in the deck? Or yeah, just... it's a deck. Okay, yeah, so I wasn't waiting. there, so I just want to know. You were outside <laughs> it's playing with her kids. You don't have yeah. any other kids, right? No, no. And okay. there was your mom too. They're so... visiting with my mom. Sorry. Oh my God, it's like a circus. There's yeah. so many people. <laughs> okay. Yeah. okay, so she's coming. Walk us through what happened. Like... Everyone's just rushing in, and there's this yeah. um, head coming out, or it already came out. Uh, she started to come out really quickly, and my husband was in the pool with me, so he actually was the first one to even see baby because my eyes are closed. And too bad he's not here, but he was just like, "Wow, she's got lots of hair," because he could see her from from behind me in the pool, and yeah. and they were just cute. like. Oh, yeah. They say, ah, oh, she's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> so who got to hold the baby first? Uh, Jacqueline. Oh, okay, yeah. Jacqueline. Yeah. Your husband. And then you two are just like, oh, yeah. what happened? Yeah. And yeah. then she gave it I gave her to us. Them. Yeah. I was like, okay, you guys have to hold her now. <laughs> I have a question for you up there. Um, yeah. Que ressentez-vous uh, maintenant que vos... Vous êtes, vous êtes pardon. Like after you have the uh, baby, how do you feel? Yeah, yeah. Oui. Um, beaucoup de joie et uh, c'est un cadeau immense que bah, que Jacqueline nous a fait uh, à, à moi et Marc et on est super heureux et uh, c'est incroyable. Hein? Oh yeah, c'est incroyable. Cool. Okay, so <laughs> you can ask him that too. How, how do you feel after you have a baby now? Oh, the same as he said in French. Mm -hmm. Sure. <laughs> okay, so I just say that we are very grateful. We grateful. thank you, Jacqueline, so much for this. I don't know if it's a gift or the good word, but right. it's a way to change our lives. So, mm. yeah. It was, so it was a good experience for you for home birth. I mean, do you think if there's another intended parent watching this today, 
would you say they could try it? And what, 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 what was your thought through this? Um, I think what we really appreciate about Ormber is that it, it was very soft, mm -hmm. um, very cozy too, like we were all in a comfortable mm -hmm. uh, area. Mm -hmm. We knew the house, so mm -hmm. we have everything. Yeah. And um, just for us, it'd be easier to be with a baby because mm -hmm. uh, we were in this very tiny, like comfortable space. Mm -hmm. So, so once you got the baby, you just did you sleep over for one night, two weeks, one? No, uh, we we stayed like a few hours. Yeah, they stayed till the evening. Like I had her at three. Yeah. I think they stayed till seven, and we just visited and hung out, and and then finally it was time for baby to go home. First of all, at the hangout, I got text messages of pictures of Pho. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we had Pho. We were which was not delivered by me, apparently. <laughs> but, so you just were like, baby out, Pho, now get out of my house. Uh, yeah, and there is also a midwife check. Because okay. after the birth, there is a lot of check for me, yeah. for, for Jacqueline, for me and for baby. And, for baby, and uh, so they do a lot of... The midwives and were there for at least an hour, almost oh, two hours two after. Two or three, I would yeah. say, yeah. So I think it's really important to emphasize that mm. should your surrogacy journey um, have something like a home birth with or without a water birth, mm. um, there is a plan in place that if something kind of goes a little wrong, it's like boom, right away, we, we quickly mm. go to the hospital. Yeah. If you are not a low risk... Um, if you are a low risk pregnancy. Sorry, if you are a low risk pregnancy, then you're actually qualified to do it. But like, you know, let's just say if you even had had one C-section, mm. you're not going to be a candidate for having a home birth. It's also a very hard thing for some intended parents to, to trust in this. Like you're, you're spending so much money, your whole life, your hope and dream is to have this. And it's, it's not for everybody. So some parents are not okay with that. And that's also okay too. Okay, mm. so it's bittersweet. Um, when is the baby leaving Canada? I guess you're not from Canada, right? No. Where are you guys from? You will live in, she will live in Paris, France. Mm. Yeah, are you coming with? Mm -hmm. yeah. Who will be to uh, uh, Paris? A Montmartre. Okay, a Montmartre. We are going to go to a Montmartre after COVID. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. So now the baby leaves in a couple days. How are you guys feeling? I think more and more, more important about you, proud surrogate. Um, like, is there like a sad feeling or like, do you, have you had any questions asked you? Like, how can you just have this baby and just give up this baby? Which is a very common question. I don't know if you've had any of these questions uh yes you get asked a lot <laughs> uh, let me ask it again yeah. how can you give up this baby because it's not mine <laughs> i i went into surrogacy knowing i wanted to help another family have their baby so from the very beginning i always thought of her as mark and samuel's baby i never felt like it was going to be my baby i was just she was just hanging out with me for nine months and Finally, when she delivered, I was very excited and very joyful to finally give her back to her daddy's where she belongs. So, yeah, it's good. I care about her and love her, and I hope that I'll get to see updates about her life. But uh, I think it's actually going to be harder for me to say goodbye to Mark yeah. and Sam because we've become such good friends. So that's more sad, but we're already planning to visit them, hopefully in Paris next yeah. year. Depends on COVID. <laughs> We're going to go there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Actually, I do have a really bonus question for you over there. À quel moment avez-vous voulu être parent or un papa? Oui. On a voulu être parent. C'est venu assez progressivement. Ça fait 12 ans qu'on est ensemble avec Marc. On s'est mariés il y a 5 ans. Et, euh, et depuis... Two years, we thought about it. That was fast. Yeah. That was fast. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Well, well thank you so much. much. If you follow the advice, it's fast. <laughs> follow the advice, and then luck is on your, on your side. Um, I think it's going to cool. I'm going to ask this little one here. This is, this is your mom, right? Liam. Hey, kiddo. Yeah. Liam. How do you feel? Are you going to miss this little baby? No. <laughs> <laughs> who, who is she to um, them and her? Your mom. What, what? Do you know who Marguerite yeah, is? Who Marguerite is? Who is Marguerite? A baby. Yeah. A baby. Is she my baby? No. No. She Why is she? She is not her baby. Do you know what I was called? A surrogate. A surrogate. Can you say that to the screen? What? What is? What is your mom? A surrogate. Oh wow! Oh, good. Yeah. Are you proud of your mommy? <laughs> what? <laughs> cut! 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 <laughs> 
Well, it's it's so cool because I have been hanging out with this little one gentleman here. He was like, um, my mommy is giving a baby to two gay men. Like he literally just told me that like last yeah. week. Yeah. And They're very you know, aware. my mom's helping them. Yeah. So thanks for being a superwoman. Is there anything else you want to add or just any kinds of advice you would give to intended parents out there since you're both intended parents and this process has been mm. truly fast for you guys too. Yeah, just manage step by step. Yeah. And uh, don't put too much expectation in the last step. You have to do the first one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you want to break it down for us? What does that mean? Like. Yeah. Just don't. We talk a lot with other people who want to be independent <laughs> parents, and the first question they ask is when we will have a surrogate, mm -hmm. and it's better to do like the embryo first and mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think it's important. Because yeah, there is a lot of to think about, a lot of stress at each step. Mm -hmm. A lot so of money, for sure. Don't, don't stress yeah. for the next, just stress for today. Yeah. <laughs> so worry about today. Yeah. And so um, I do want to ask you, like, has it been like a complete... It, it's, these videos, like, I mean, there's a success. But I want to know, were there any disappointments on the way? Um, were there any, like, were there more than one transfer? Like, oh, were yeah. there anything? Like, we had two transfers. Mm -hmm. And because the first one doesn't work, so but so there was, we were at, we go to the second one, and uh, that's it. We have been lucky. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's not. It didn't work for you the first time. No. Yeah. Oh, did you feel bad about that, or did you feel? It was upset? definitely like disappointing. You're like, oh no. But I was more worried about like how they felt, and it was like. But we also heard from the doctors that it's really common that there's like a fifty percent yeah. chance usually with the first transfer. So. We kind of, you kind of half expect, like, maybe it won't, but you're really hopeful that it'll take. Yeah. So, okay. very, very thankful that it happened the second time. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm going to make sure we pan out with a little bit more of this baby and less of me. Uh, and thank you so much for creating this baby. <laughs> I don't care about the wolf. Have one. <laughs> okay, whoops, sirs. I just forgot about you. Does she eat a lot? Oh, uh, yeah. You can see it. <laughs> She's a good eater. She's, How old is she now? She's three weeks today. So it does take about three weeks to leave Canada, or just you just decided to hang out a little bit longer? Um, technically, I think we can yeah. leave one week ago. One week before. Okay. If you press everything, but... Yeah, we three weeks, you got to hang out. Three weeks is good. And yeah. for the baby, and just to, to do the time, the mm. thing with time. Mm -hmm. She not awake. <laughs> She's week. Big so chubby sweet. baby. Okay, well, see you guys later. And thank you so much for sharing your story. And um, it is a, bit, a very bittersweet feeling to have three parties. And oh, there was also an egg donor for you guys too, yeah. right? Yeah. Do you have anything to say to people using an egg donor or to your egg donor without oh. saying um, her name, of course? Yeah, we are so grateful. So yeah. thank There's you. There's two women in this. Yeah, Not just the surrogate, which is a big part, yeah. but also a woman. who the also is very important too, yeah. so yeah, we, we, we are very thankful, and uh, yeah. <laughs> Who's that? That's not the egg donor. <laughs> That's just a little thing. <laughs> hey, child wise, bye. Um, thank you for tuning in and to this proud story of um, proud Fertility, which is a surrogacy and egg donation consultancy in Canada. Bye. Bye. <laughs>